Hello everybody and welcome back to another Breakwaters walkthrough on the channel. I am very excited for this one. I have a lot of things planned and I'm going to tell them to you right now. First of all, let me talk about a change that has been made. As you might be able to see in the distance, there are some weird looking towers all throughout the world. Um, I can't see too many, but I see like one over there beyond that mountain -y over there. And one there in the middle of the water. And those are pirate towers or like NPC pirate towers. And that is apparently how you get the metal sheets that we saw last time. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't even know that metal sheets existed. And they didn't at that point of recording. Like exactly that same day that I recorded. They added it, those uh, they added those towers to the game, so that is freaking amazing. And that's uh, how you are how you are supposed to get metal sheets um, for your traveler boat, because you needed the metal sheets for your traveler to make it. You need five of them. Now I was very lucky <laughs> that I already made my traveler before they added this <laughs> to the game, so I never had to make the metal sheets, which is or have to get the metal sheets. Now, one of the things I might want to get is boat armor. Because we still have a slot left that we can fill in for the uh, upgrade for the Traveler. Um, so we'll need a metal sheet for that. But we have a lot of things planned. So we might attack one of those outposts, maybe. Um, if I want to, I think so. We also want to get an, a backpack upgrade. Because we currently only have the cloth bag. And we can get a better backpack quite easily. We've had the materials for a while. And I just uh, forgot to craft it. Um, I just didn't think about it. So let's do that right now. After that, uh, after crafting the backpack, I want to go to the Hermit all the way down there on the map. As you can see, it's very far away from our world right there. Uh, and then after that, after we traveled to the Hermit, because we are going to do that, I want to see if we can try and fight the Titan. Because we have this uh, Skarnge or whatever it's called. I, I, I still don't know how to pronounce it. It's a very strange word to me. Uh, but yeah, we have this thing, this shell or whatever. And we can go to one of those Titan Gate ruins uh, all the way down there, I believe it was. I think I see it in the distance right there. And then we can hopefully uh, summon the Titan with it. Because it has to be used in a Titan cage area. And I think that's the location over there. Um, the lighthouse points towards a different direction right now. That seems to be a bug. Sometimes when you re-lock into the world, the uh, light changes direction. Uh, but I remember it pointing that way. So that is where it's supposed to be somewhere. And we've been there before, so we know where it is anyway. Alright, without further ado, let's make that backpack. Because we really need it. Let's first take something to eat, because we are dying. We do not want to die just yet. Let's drink some water. Get myself some water there as well. Use that solar still, beautiful. Nice, we have 8 bottles of water. That's pretty good. Okay, so what do we need for the backpack? For the backpack, we need seagrass, sticks, tree branches, and a metal, uh, steel metal. We have the steel metal, tree branches, and sticks. I don't know about the seagrass. Let's check. Oh yeah, we have all of it. That's beautiful. Uh, so we'll need that. We'll need sticks, branches. Wow, we have way too many branches. And we need at least one of those. Beautiful. And we can make ourselves the backpack. That's going to be a big upgrade. This is going to have 21 inventory slots. And currently we only have plus 14 inventory slots. Let's throw the let's throw this on the on the ground. Let's equip the backpack. There we go. I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose this. It's pretty important. It should all drop into a bag. All the items that you had in your backpack here, in your cloth bag, it should drop together. Uh, but I just didn't want to risk it. We can just put the cloth bag back in here. We don't need it anymore. And on towards the next thing. So as you can see, I mined quite a few uh, logs and made them into planks and sold them for a profit into shards. We need a ton of shards because we have the, um, the motor now, of course, for our traveler boat. 
which requires shards. It doesn't require that much, but I thought, you know, let's be prepared <laughs> and let's have as many as possible on us so we don't get lost out in the ocean. Because we have to travel so far away, I don't know how much we'll need. We'll, we'll see. Let's see if Brother Shu has something to tell us. Because I think we did all the missions for him, but let's just make sure that we did. Were you able to find the Titan Relic? Build a boat if you haven't. Uh, yeah, we have done all of that. This is amazing. I'm very impressed you were able to find another one. It's time to finally see what kind of cage uh, a Titan can hold. Can hold a Titan. All right, awesome. Now he just wants me to uh, go to that cage or something. Find another Titan Relic. Activate the cage. Uh, yeah, okay. Activate the cage is what he. That's what he wants me to do interesting all right well i guess we can go ahead and do that first before trying to summon the titan oh wow i can see a lot more of those towers very far into the distance there there's one with like three npc pirates sailing around another one over there there are a lot it might be uh, very dangerous to go out that way but I think that is the direction we have to go into if you want to find that hermit on that island. But this is... Yeah, this is the cage. This is where we are supposed to be. Ooh, looks like there's some treasure underneath as well. We can get more shards, maybe? Alright, we made it to the ruin. We have been here before, of course, but then we didn't have the titan relic. Now we do. So, um... Yeah, let's see what it does, shall we? Oh boy. Wow, that is loud. Lightning. Oh man. This really affects the whole world. Oh my god. And look at the waves. I mean, they're not they're not huge waves, but the sea is getting a little bit more restless. It's starting to become nighttime. Well, let's, uh, let's sail. I think it is time to go all the way to the location where I wanted to go to. And since it is such a long travel, because this was the island we were on. This is the lighthouse and this is where we have to be. So yeah, I will see you guys all when we get there. Or actually, before we do that, let's go back quickly. Because I just want to make sure that we have enough food as well to survive. So I'm going to get some more food and maybe some other supplies as well. Okay, I think I am ready now to go towards that hermit. I'll show you in a minute what we all have. There's one more thing I want to do though before we go. I made this flare. I want to quickly get some more food. Because that is the easiest way to get it quickly summon the trader and uh he will show up and i can just buy some cooked meat from him there we go hello there sir yep i would like to shop and i would like to get from you some cooked meat oh wow i think it has become cheaper all right there we go that should be plenty for our travels here all right put the remaining shards that are necessary in the fuel tank there we have all of this stuff with us. We have a plenty of shards. We have fire coral, sticks, seagrass, tree branches, steel metal, iron, redstone, crystals, uh, ballista shots, your refined yellow crystals, empty bottles so we can make more if we need to, or maybe the blue ones uh, if there are blue crystals around. And now we also have plenty of food. A shovel, sword... And the only thing I don't have with me is actually the bow and arrow. All right. And now we have everything. Now we also have our bow. We have our normal arrows and we have the uh, special arrows with the uh, blue tip on it. So if there are those blue boars again, we can shoot them with that. Let's pull in the anchor and let's go travel. We have to go very, very far. So yeah, I will see you guys in... <laughs> Probably, um, well, let's say 10 minutes from now or 15 minutes from now. Okay, so a quick note. I um, I went to this island, to the village, um, because I was attacked by one of those ships. So I summoned another trader 
and I quickly bought myself one of those uh, repair kits or like 29 of them actually because as you, if you look at my health the red bar that's the health of the boat it went down pretty far so yeah I'm gonna need uh, quite a few of those repair kits to keep me alive during this journey and there are a lot of towers and a lot of boats so wish me luck all right looks like we have almost reached our destination i think i can see the island i can also see a pirate tower and a boat right there let's repair the boat fully kind of a waste because we weren't all the way down let's see what we can do let's uh, shoot this boat first i think that will be a bigger problem for now oh actually the tower shoots as well oh man Oh man, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't realize the tower would shoot as well. Oh boy, let's get back, let's get back. We need to repair. Many repair kits, many repair kits. Okay, let's turn around. All right, let's try that once more. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got it. There's one down. Get more repair kits going. And now let's get this one. Come on, baby. Destroy that ship. Destroy it. Nice. We did it. Okay, we are almost there at the island. And it has become morning as well. That's beautiful. We arrived at the perfect time. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice little crystals in the water there. Let's slow down a little bit. Oh, that's so beautiful. Can you think of a more beautiful game with boats and water than this? I don't think so, man. This game is so ridiculously beautiful. With the water and the sun and the... The, the reflections on the water and everything it's so amazing oh wow look at all the fish wow there's so many of you that's a whole lot of fish right there all right hello there mr hermit hello there my friend yeah i think there's only supposed to be one of these but um all right let's talk to we have robert and sergey uh, all right let's talk to robert first let's see Robert, he has a shop, the water bottle cloth pack, tricep, and charge cannon. Doesn't have a description, but that looks interesting. Sergey has the same stuff. Okay, yeah, so there's only supposed to be really one of them, apparently. I think so. Let's talk to Sergey about the mission. Why, hello there. So you're looking to become a breakwater. Yes, I am. And take on the Titans. Sounds like fun. But I can't help you on an empty stomach. Please bring me 20 fish and we can talk. Alright. Do you want the same, Robert? Yeah, you have the exact same mission. Alright, he wants me to bring fish. Well, luckily for us... There is a... Wow, look at the waves. Luckily for us, there's a ton of fish out there. And we are well prepared. Do we need more of these... I don't know if we'll need more than 10, but you know, let's let's get more than 10. Let's make a couple more of those refined yellow crystals. There we go. Let's do 18. That should be more than enough, I would like to think, to get fish. How many fish do we actually need? Does it say? We only need 20. Okay, well, that is, <laughs> that is definitely doable. Okay, that should be easy. Let's get on the boat. And let's go get ourselves some fish. There's a ton out there. Alright, uh, this seems like a prime location for them. Let's switch. And let's throw a lot of these bottles around. Oh, my ship is also going down. That's fine. 
That just froed them everywhere. There we go. Look at all the fish. All the salmon. This is how you do fishing in breakwaters. <laughs> Plenty of salmon. We are going to get way more than the 20 that we needed. I wonder how many we're going to end up with. If we even have enough inventory space for all of them. Ah, there we go. I think that's about it. How much did we get? We got 50. Okay, not as much as I was uh, hoping to get, actually. But we should have enough. We only needed 20 anyway. That's perfect, actually. Nice. We need quite a few of those bottles. But it worked. There we go. Oh, and now the, now the effect of the yellow crystals is gonna slowly... Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the water. They're slowly starting to lose power. And that was the last of them. Oh, look at the waves. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun in this game. That is that is what I like about this game a lot. Is uh, being able to control the water like that. That's so beautiful. Alright. Let's give him what he wants. Let's give him the fish. Do we have enough space to receive a reward? I don't think we have. Um, let's see quickly. What can we get rid of? Uh, you know what? We have storage in here. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, we have more shards in there as well. Uh, so let's temporarily put this back in there. Take the shards. There we go. I'll put uh, redstone in there as well. I don't think we'll need it right now. And then let's take our reward. Let's give him the fish. We can actually give the fish to both of them, maybe. Let's give him to Sergei first. Here's the fish. Thanks for the fish. I feel much better. Titans are amazing creations. Most people think they can't be damaged. Most people think they can't be damaged. Really, you just need the right weapon. A charge cannon can hurt them in a unique way. After their blue health bar is down, you can hurt... You can hurt them with a regular cannon too. Here's a blueprint for one. He gives us the shots for it. Um, charge cannon shot blueprint. Now let's buy ourselves the charge cannon then. There we go. One charge cannon. Should we buy another one just in case? Uh, we have plenty of shards. Yeah, let's buy another one just in case. We'll have two. Alright, now we have two charge cannons. We have the ability to make the cannonballs now, the charge shots. I think we have to make a forge first to be able to craft those. So let's go back home, which will uh, take another like 15 minutes. <laughs> and um, yeah, when I'm back home, I will make the forge. And then I will prepare some of those charge cannonballs. Alright, we made it back home with everything that we got. I lost all of my uh, boat repair kits as well. We defeated one more tower on the way back. And I have no boat repair kits anymore. Actually, I didn't defeat the tower. I, I didn't have enough bullets either. I didn't have enough ballista uh, cannonballs. So, yeah. We are going to have to make a ton of them. I mean, if the pirate towers are that tough, then I cannot imagine how tough the titan will be. Okay, so let's make some changes to our current boat. Um, the grabber arm will probably not be useful during the battle. I think it would be best to put the ballista on either side. The charge cannon will be right there, I think. I think that might be best. And wow, look at that. That charge cannon looks freaking amazing. I love the blue glow on that. I actually changed my mind. I don't think I'm gonna go for the... Um, I actually don't think I'm going to go for the armor. I think I'm going to go for another normal cannon. We don't have a normal cannon yet. Uh, and I want to have like all the different armor uh, ammo types to see which one works better. Which one does the most amount of damage. I'm going to get ballista shots. I'm going to get normal cannon balls, of course, which we already have a ton of. Because we um, did a lot. We smashed a lot of those crates and we used to shovel a lot. So we got a lot of those. 
And then we also still have to make the charge cannons. So we have also, to, we also have to make the forge. Let's work on that cannon. Let's work on the forge. I will get all of the resources that we need. I will get all of the cannonballs. I will not, I don't think I will show any of that because they will probably take a very long time. And then I will be back when I think I am ready to fight the Titan. Okay then. So it has been ages uh, I've been doing a lot of grinding and I did a lot of tree cutting. I sold a lot of the planks. I gained a lot of shards. I bought a lot of steel. I bought a lot of iron and I bought a ton of those boat repair kits, as you can see. And I still don't have that many charge cannons. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. You need like uh, the gray stone uh, and you can obtain that by getting the coconut bombs and stuff like that. I, I I mean, I have a ton of the ballista shots. I have quite a few cannonballs. I don't know how powerful they will be. I've been told that you don't need that many shots to take down the Titan. But I just want to play it safe and I got way more than I probably need. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to die the first time I fight this Titan. That being said, I think we've waited long enough. I've never fought a Titan before in my life. So this is going to be very exciting. I've never done it in my live streams, which by the way, you should definitely check out if you haven't done that yet. Let's go and fight the Titan. We've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I'm excited. Let's summon the freaking Spiritual Titan. How do we do this? Right click. When used, will summon the turtle titan to fight you. Must be used near an active titan cage area to work. Let's go. Oh, he immediately just drops in. Oh boy, he is huge, isn't he? Oh my god. Okay. Let's go. Let's not, uh, let's not wait around. Oh my god. He is absolutely massive, isn't he? Oh, get out of the way. That's his attack. Oh, wow. Okay, let's move. And let's... Oh boy. Hopefully we'll make it out alive. Oh, we made it out. That's the charge shot, apparently. That's pretty crazy. That had quite a bit of damage, I think. Let's try that again. Alright, let's fight. It's got a charge up. That's why it's called a charge shot, I suppose. And then it will shoot after a couple of seconds. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Escape, beam. Ooh, he got us there. There we go. Let's keep shooting those cannonballs. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, we lost the boat. Oh, get back. Get back. Get back. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Oh, my God. We are going to die. No, we survived. <laughs> let's get back into the boat. All right, let's try this again. Let's try let's try the charge cannon again. Maybe it does more damage. Oh, Lord. Our boat is nearly destroyed. We need to use a lot of healing. A lot of healing to get out of this. I feel like the charge cannon might be the best weapon because it like locks on to him. I think it's the easiest way to uh, to damage him constantly. But it does do less damage as well. It only does a lot of damage to the blue shield, but not to uh not to his normal health. What a battle this is all throughout the night. Now right, let's use that charge cannon once more. Or maybe twice more. That's like the only thing that is a like guaranteed hit. Oh no! 
Oh my god. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> so he sunk our ship. Uh, luckily though, I was very smart and just before we uh, activated the titan cage here and we started fighting him i actually backed up my save file so we are back uh, at the exact same save with the exact same items um, it's a little bit cheaty maybe but i do not want to lose my ship so let's go ahead and fight him again and hopefully i will see you guys again when i actually defeat him Okay, I think we got it. I think we almost have him. A couple more shots and we should be good to go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Is he down? I think we got him. Oh yeah, baby. And he's out for the count, yeah. Well, it took a, it took a long time to, <laughs> to get the location right where we need to hit him. So... The best way to hit him, in my opinion, is to get him in the arms. That's like the easiest location to um, to attack him at. What is this though? This is his dead body. What can we get from this? Look at that. There's also pirate ships that uh, came to attack me during the fight. Let's see. What's all this then? Special crystal? What is that? Titan stone. Awesome. We got a special sort of stone here. Titan stones. What are those? I'm guessing we can mine these. Alright, the hammer does the most amount of damage. What is that? 30 crystals. Oh, wow. And a lot of shards as well. Oh jeez, this is gonna give me so many resources. It's like 40, 50, 30. Gives me like 30 or 40 crystals or shards each time. Like each couple of hits. Oh wow. That's gonna make us so rich. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six of those deposits out here. Oh my god. That is awesome that's really amazing this is gonna give us all the shards that we'll need for uh, quite a long time but i'm more excited to find out what these titan stones do they look almost exactly like the um the relics a piece of titan stone that has broken off of the titan itself it's small enough to be carried i'm gonna ask the developer about this on uh, on discord but i'm guessing that the titan is supposed to be underwater with his legs so only his arms will like go back and forth above the water. Uh, just like when you start up the game, um, you only see his arms move and you don't see his legs at all. I think that is what is supposed to happen. But it was a cool fight nonetheless. I really enjoyed how big he is from, from that close. That's so freaking awesome. But let's store the boat here. Let's uh, put it back safely so it doesn't wander off. Oh, not not on top of this rock. That's not what I meant. All right, as far as I can tell, that's pretty much the end of the main story right now. We defeated the Titan. That is awesome. If there is any more story, I will definitely cover it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You can also follow me on Twitch. I do live streams on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So if you rather watch live streams on Twitch or rather on YouTube, then you can follow or subscribe to either of those. I'm also doing more guides on the game, of course. There will definitely be more guides up on the channel in the near future, as well as more live streams on the game as the game develops. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.